yes guys i have another wig install video for you right now what i'm doing is just laying down my edges with she is bomb edge control just to make sure that doesn't get in the way when i glue my wig cap down um if you have not heard about them you really need to check out their website because they have a bunch of amazing products that work really good it's not a sponsorship i just like really love them um right now what i'm doing is just taking got to be glue and i'm going to be using three layers of this just to make sure that wig cap doesn't move up underneath my wig and after the glue the got to be glue i'm going to be using the free spray just to give that extra security And just to speed up time and to make sure everything is dry, I'm just going to go in with my blow dryer for about two minutes just to, just because I'm extra, you know. Now I'm just going to take this NYX bronzer from who knows where I got it. And I'm just going to put this all over my wig cap because for some reason, I don't know, I feel like liquid foundation, I don't know, I just don't want to use that. So I just go with the bronzer instead because I feel like powders work better. I'm just going to take that just to help that blend in, make it this same color as my skin tone. I have no idea why I cannot talk. But now I'm just cutting off the excess cap, you know, fitting it around my hairline. I like to not cut it the exact, I cannot talk, cut it the exact like shape of my actual hairline because I feel like my forehead is big so I like to, you know, leave it a little f further if that makes sense i'm so sorry i like keep stuttering like <laughs> what the fuck now i'm just cutting out parts of my ears so you know my ears can breathe or whatever You want to make sure you get any excess cap that's left because you don't want that to show up underneath your wig. So I'm just literally cutting off as much as I can of my cap. As long as it does not like start to show my hair. And boom, we have the wig on. Yes, she's feeling herself. She's popping. Yes, yes, yes. Now I'm just going to take um, Bold Hold Active, that good stuff. And I'm just going to use three layers of this. I just put it all around my cap. You want to make sure you use thin layers so they can dry evenly and fast. You won't be waiting a long time just for one layer of glue to dry. Because you want to make sure this dries completely clear. That's the one thing that people like have with wigs they don't wait to they they don't wait till the glue dries clear and if you don't you're going to see like white specks up underneath your lace so you want to make sure that's completely clear and then i'm just going to blow dry that each layer now i'm just laying my wig down on there very carefully carefully because you want to make sure it's like perfect to where you laid that glue at using the teeth of my edge brush just to make sure that lace is melted down into that skin you want to push that lace into that glue just to make sure everything is stuck down the way you need it to be okay now this will literally change everything this elastic band will give you like literally the best melt ever like it works so good like it's just so tight around your head 
like that lace is melted so use this i got this off of amazon for like i think it was five dollars It's literally such a relief when you take this thing off your head but like literally look how good like look how flat that already looks onto my skin like so good okay so now what I'm doing is just taking my scissors just to go ahead and make that easier like I split it up in two just don't want to have a hard time and like I said we got with the ghetto with the ghetto my razor broke so I'm just still working what I got so if you use a razor, like you get that jagged, like a hairline isn't perfectly straight. And with scissors, your lines are straight. So it's easier to use a razor to make it more natural. So I'm just slowly cutting that away, the lace, obviously. And then again, here we go with these complicated ear tabs i still don't have no like perfect the way perfect way to describe how i do this like i literally just cut like i gotta get some method of how i cut my ear tabs but yeah And as I was cutting my ear tabs, I realized some parts wasn't glued down all the way. So, that's literally no problem to fix. Just go ahead and take your glue and just glue it down. Period. That's all you gotta do. So, now I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. Cutting that, using the razor, making that jagged edge. Cutting them complicated ear tabs. La, 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 da, 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 da. Boom, boom, boom. Now it's time to get with the baby hairs. Y'all, stop making y'all baby hair so thick. It's not, it's not called for all that, it's not. You only need a little bit of hair for the baby hairs. Baby hairs are not thick, sweetie. You need a couple hairs. And you need to cut them things short. Baby hairs ain't long. They call baby hairs for a reason, cause they short. They short. So what we gonna do now? is to secure this thing some more. We're gonna take them baby hairs out, what we're gonna cut, and we're gonna use that elastic bag and just tie that on there again. You see, I cut my baby hair short. And we're just gonna use some um, foaming spray from She Is Bomb again. I told y'all I love this company. And you see, as I'm making my baby hairs, I'm making them shorter, customizing them to basically how I want them to be. Your baby hairs are not supposed to be long. They're baby hairs. They're short. Okay? So, literally, you just have to play. You just gotta play with it. You just gotta play with it. It's not gonna be perfect the first time you do it. Keep playing with it. Keep messing around with it and see what you like. But eventually, eventually, baby, them hairs is gonna be on swim. They're gonna be on wave. Just, you just gotta practice. You just gotta practice. That's all. Okay, now that we finished with the baby hairs, we're going to take our satin scarf this time and we're going to use that to lay down our baby hairs because if we use that elastic band, it's just going to pull up what we just did. And you see how, you see the baby hairs? They look so good. Now we're taking our wax stick that I previously used in one of my videos and that's, you know, it's going to make your hair flatter. It's going to make it look like it's coming from the scalp, baby. The scalp.
very much smoke. I don't know about this tone. Like, is this like, right here, and now what I'm doing is cutting this wig because I don't know. I just don't know what's wrong with me and long hair. I just love short hair. So me being a daredevil, I literally used some the same scissors that I used to cut the lace. I used to cut this wig because I could not find any other scissors. And my cutting scissors are still at school. So I literally just freehanded this and I just cut it. And it turned out really pretty. Like I loved it. And this basically is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe, and tune in to what I have next.